Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be a kind of cross-body connection flow. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, about 30 minutes in length. Before we get in, please take the time to uh, comment if you like it, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And then when you're ready, we'll meet on our backs. When you get there, take your feet as wide as your mat. Knock your knees together, find a little bit of internal rotation. And kind of like wiggle your way in, make yourself feel really nice and comfy. And then bring one hand onto your belly, one hand onto your heart, and take a big breath. As you breathe in, notice where that breath is coming from. Many of us breathe a little bit higher up, so we breathe into our shoulders and into our chest. And so can you take a few moments to see if you can shift that to your belly? So you're finding this kind of filling up as you breathe in and a dropping down as you breathe out. And as you go, maybe you begin to find a little bit more of a sense of engagement. So as you exhale, it's like you could pull your hip bones together and really engage that low belly, that wrapping of your transverse abdominals, the deep core across your body. Relaxing it as you breathe in, and subtle contraction as you breathe out. Feel the press of the lower back down into the ground. Feel the backs of the shoulders, the back of the head. Take one more breath in as you are. One more exhale. And then when you're ready, bring your knees in towards your chest. Give them a nice big squeeze, a nice big hug. Maybe find a little rock from side to side. And just feeling that kind of compression of your thighs moving towards your chest and almost lift your chest up towards your thighs. When you're ready, just gently release your hands, bring your legs to like a 90 degree angle. Now, if this feels a bit much and you begin to arch into your back, bring your knees in a bit closer. It'll just shift the weight back a little bit. Tuck your tailbone, press your lower back down into the ground and again, feel that lower belly engaged, just like when we were breathing. Bring your hands onto both thighs, press your thighs into your hands, press your thighs Press your thighs into your hands, your hands into your thighs, press your lower back into the ground and hold for 10. You're working quite hard, nine. Chest stays up, seven, six, five, four, three, two on one. Bring your knees back in towards your chest. Relax, maybe add a little rock from side to side and take a big breath into the belly. Then a really big breath out. Let's find those 90 degree angles again. But this time, bring your right hand onto your left thigh. Bring your left hand behind your head. Take an inhale. As you exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, curl your shoulders up and off of the ground. Now press your left, sorry, your right hand into your left thigh, your left thigh into your right hand, and extend your right leg. Now keep that cross body connection and begin to drop the right leg down and pick the right leg up. 10, nine, keep pressing hand to thigh, seven, Six, keep the lower back pressing down the chest up. Five, four, three, two, one. Right leg lifts to the sky. Bring your head back down. Take a big breath in. Exhale, both knees bend. And tuck your chin to your chest. Right hand comes behind your head. Left hand finds right thigh. Left leg extends. We're doing the same on this side. So keep lifting. Keep the left, so the, the right hand is just supporting your head. Your hand is pressing into the thigh to keep that lower back pressing down, that engagement, and drop, lift, and lower the left leg. Turn. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Keep the lower back pressing down. Two. On one. Both knees in, give them a squeeze, take a big inhale like you're actually stretching your belly with your breath. And then as you exhale, chin to chest, begin to rock and roll until you come all the way up to seated. When you get to seated, let's come straight over to hands and knees. If you needed to use your hands to get you there, by the way, totally fine. And when you get there, let's just go straight into some wrist warm up. So find a couple of circles to begin. If this is the first bit of movement that you've done on your hands today and you all and all you know that you've got sore wrists and so you want to spend like a little bit more time here, feel free to pause the video 
and just take some more time doing your wrists. Go in the opposite direction if you haven't begun to already. Good, and then spin your fingertips to the face towards your knees or a diagonal if uh, towards your knees feels like a bit intense. And just go for a little rock from side to side, maybe a little forwards and back. Let it be really, really intuitive. So whatever feels like it needs a little bit of love, give it. Okay, and then you're gonna bring the fist, your fists together and then bring the backs of the hands towards the ground. You're going to straighten and bend the arms. And some people can get their arms completely straight here. That person is not me. And just take a few breaths, we'll go for five. Not necessarily going with the counting. Four. And as fast or slow as you would like for three. For two. On a one. Tuck your toes behind you. Toes pose, at your way back. Try to make sure the little toes are cooperating. Make sure that your shoulders are over your hips so we're not kind of leaning forward out with this. You're really letting the weight kind of come into the feet. Bring your arms up by your ears, spin your palms so they face in. You're going to create a fist and then a star. So a few more wrist warm-ups. Begin to go a little bit faster. So begin to really, really find the fist and the star faster, but don't skip the shape. We'll go for 10, 9. So you can go faster than me. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Keep your arms by your ears. 1, but stop moving. Take an inhale. Press down into the feet, reach through the crown of the head. As you exhale, begin to cactus your arms, lift your chest up for three. Pull the elbows down, lift the palms to the sky for two. On one, release. As you bring your hands forward, round your spine as if you were in cat pose. Bring your palms together. Inhale, arms lift to the sky. Exhale, open up the chest, bring the elbows back. Pull the elbows back towards um, your hips, lift your palms to the sky and keep moving all the way down as you bring your elbows to your hips. One more, just like that. Round your spine, bring your palms forward. Inhale, arms lift to the sky. As you exhale, cactus your arms, pull the elbows down towards the hips, let the palms up towards the sky, go slowly, keep squeezing everything in and then release. Come back to hands and knees. And tuck your toes and give them a little wiggle if they need them. And then tuck your toes back under again. From tabletop, press into the hands and slightly fill the space between the shoulder blades. Not loads, like you're really, really rounding, but just a little bit. So there's a definite push into the floor. Take it in now. On your exhale, send your heels back behind you so much so that the knees hover. Keep the core engaged, slide to the tailbone, fill that space between the shoulder blades. Take an inhale, exhale lower. We're going to move with the breath. Inhale, exhale lift, inhale lower, exhale lift, inhale lower. One more, exhale lift, inhale lower. This time we're going to add on. Stay for the inhale, exhale lift. Press into the left hand a lot, keep the hips where they are, squeeze the inner thigh, send your hips back. Inhale, right arm up by the ear. Reach through the fingers, maybe make a fist to the arms a bit stronger. Exhale, right hand comes down. Inhale, lower the knees. Exhale, lift. Inhale, left arm by the ear. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, knees down. One more each side. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, arm by the ear. Exhale, hand down. Inhale, drop the knees. Exhale, lift. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, drop the knees. This time, untuck the toes as you sit back. Arms to the sky, inhale. Exhale, pull the elbows down. Cactus the arms, lift up from the ribcage. Slide, tuck in the tailbone. So this movement comes from the chest until the hands come all the way down. Give yourself a wiggle and then find a downward facing dog. When you get there, Go for a little pedal out, bend a knee, strain a leg. Really press into the hands, shift some weight back into the feet. And when you're ready, find some stillness, find a little bit of softness in those knees. Imagine that someone's pulling back on your hips as you shift your weight back. Take a full breath in. Full breath out. Take an inhale, lift up onto your tiptoes and walk your feet one step closer towards your hands and then come back into a downward dog. Take an inhale. As you exhale, left hand presses down, 
Inhale, right arm comes up and reaches back towards the right hip. Exhale, place it back down. Inhale, stay. Exhale, left hand reaches back towards left hip. Really press into the hands, find that shift, weight into the, that shift back into the legs like we did a second ago. And then exhale, left hand lands. Inhale, right hand reaches back by the hip. Maybe pressing into the right foot, left heel lifts up towards your bum. Squeeze the heel, press into the left hand, and then release. Right hand down. Take a breath in. Exhale, left hand comes down by your hip. This time, right heel squeezes up towards your bum. Really press into the hands, shift the weight back like you're lifting your tailbone towards the sky. And then right hand lands and left hand lands. We're gonna add on one more time. Well, a few more times. Press into the left hand. Press, uh, take the right hand up by the hip. As you exhale, squeeze your left heel up towards your bum. Good, stay for the inhale. Press the weight back, lift the tailbone. As you exhale, come forward like you could tap left knee to left tricep, but then begin to extend that left leg out towards the right and slide all the way on to your bottom. When you get there, take a few wiggles in this wide stance. A little side to side. And just shifting your weight forwards and backwards. Maybe leaning towards your toes and leaning your back. We're not going to do a super big fold on this first one. And when you're ready, look over your left shoulder to the top of the mat, plant both hands down. You're going to press into the hands and as you do, pull up through the belly, lift through the space between the shoulder blades, inhale, left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. As you exhale, high on the right tiptoe, draw your left knee into your chest, set the left foot wide, and then set the right foot wide as well. Active squat, sink the hips, reach the arms forward, take a breath in. As you exhale, pull hands to heart center. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, sink the hips, weight moves back, pull the chest towards the thumbs, and then plant the hands and step back to a downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Take a full breath out. Set those feet a little bit closer if you need to. Take a breath in. As you exhale, push into the right hand, left hand lifts up by the hip. Stay for the inhale, shift the weight back. Exhale, maybe right heel squeezes up towards the bum. Keep pressing into the hands. As you inhale, begin to come forward. That left heel can stay down if you need it to. Begin to tap right knee towards right tricep and then extending that right leg out towards the left. Come up all the way down. Take a breath in. As you exhale, go for a wiggle on the side. Maybe because this is the second time that we're exploring this shape, you feel like you've got a little bit more. If that's the case and you want to begin to fold a little bit more, feel free. They keep pressing the heels down like you're really trying to pull the calves towards the earth. When you're ready, come all the way back up. Look over the right shoulder this time, plant the hands. And then as you begin to press into the hands, dough into the space between your shoulder blades, scoop up that right leg, inhale, right leg lifts. As you exhale, look forward, step the right foot wider than the right hand, and then step the left foot wider too. Sink into the hips, drive the knees wide, inhale, arms lift, active squat. Exhale, pull hands to heart center, inhale, lift your arms up. As you exhale, back into the active squat, sink the hips, plant the hands and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the tiptoes. Exhale, like we're just gonna wring everything out, bend the knees and then ripple forward to a plank. Take a big sip of air when you get there. Exhale, bend the elbows, level all the way down to the belly, point the toes. As you inhale, pull your hands towards the back of the mat, lift the chest up, gentle cobra. Exhale to lower, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, press into the left hand, right hand comes up by the hip. Stay for the inhale. As you exhale, squeeze your left heel towards your bum, find that pull up. As you inhale, begin to come forward. You can keep the right heel down or you could challenge yourself. Lift onto right tiptoes, left knee, left tricep. Left leg extends out towards the right, sit your bum down. This time, inhale, both arms lift. As you exhale, shoot the hands back as you send the chest forward. Heels press down, find a fold, doesn't matter how far you go. Inhale, both arms lift. Exhale, hands to the top of your mat. Pivot onto the ball of the back foot. Scoop up that space between the shoulder blades, left leg lifts, inhale. As you exhale, come forward, this time left foot steps in between the hands, 
drop down the back knee. Inhale, both arms lift, low lunge, pull those feet together underneath you, cinching the waist, cinching the inner thighs, full breath. Exhale, twist to the left. So left arm's gonna begin to move back as your right arm begins to move forward. Keep pushing out of that front foot, squeeze the inner thighs, soften the elbows, and imagine that you could squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you, take another big breath in. Stay for the exhale. Good, one more breath in. Exhale, bring palms together and take that right elbow, hook it over the left thigh, stay. Or tuck your back toe under and begin to press that right heel behind you like we did right at the start to hover the knee. Again, don't let the weight sink down. Can you pull your feet together, push out of the legs, push out of the hips, reach through the crown of the head. Begin to spin that left shoulder back, that left rib cage back. Take another big breath in. On your exhale, plant your hands and step back. Downward facing dog. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, press into the right hand, left hand lifts up by your hip. Stay for the inhale. As you exhale, squeeze your right heel towards your bum. Pull that thigh towards the belly, breath in. Begin to come forward. As you do, maybe lift onto left tip toes, maybe don't. But can you tap right knee towards right tricep? Inhale, right leg extends out to the left. Plunge your bottom. Arms to the sky. Press into the heels, spin the outside edge of those feet back behind you as you exhale, fold. Can you keep the legs nice and strong? Can you take, keep the tailbone nice and long? Keep reaching through the crown of the head. Inhale, both arms lift. Exhale, plant the hands to the top of the mat. Pivot to the ball of the back foot, round that space between the shoulder blades. Right leg lifts, inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, step the right foot down between the hands and drop down the left knee. Inhale, arms to the sky, low lunge, pull the feet together, squeeze the inner thighs, press out of the earth. Stay for the breath in. And exhale to twist, right arm back, left arm forward. Keep pushing out of the feet. Keep reaching through the crown of the head, soften the elbows, squeeze the arm bones back behind you. Can you spin right ribs back, left ribs uh, forward, but keep pressing out of the legs, especially that back knee, take one more inhale. Exhale, palms together, hook left elbow over left thigh. You could stay or tuck your back toe under and raise your back knee. Begin to send that left heel back behind you. Can you move the crown of the head in the opposite direction? As you press your palms together, can you push out of the feet and then spin right ribs high and left ribs low? Keep that left hip lifted a little bit higher. Stay for one more breath in. Exhale, plant the hands and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the tiptoes. Bring it out, exhale, bend the knees and come forward, plank pose. Knees down, chest down, or one straight line. Inhale, take your back bend. Exhale, lower down, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. One more time, one more add on. Take a breath in. Exhale, right arm lifts up by your hip. Take a breath in. Exhale, left heel squeezes to your butt. Inhale, come forward, left knee, left tricep, and then left leg extends to the right, and sit your bum down. Press down through the heels, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, hands back as you fold, chest forward, torso forward, tailbone back. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, both hands to the top of your mat, press into the hands, round the space between the shoulder blades, left leg back to the sky, inhale. Exhale, come forward, low lunge, left foot steps down, and drop down the right knee. One breath, one movement. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, squeeze the upper arms together. Exhale, palms together, hook right elbow over right thigh. Inhale, right knee lifts. As you exhale, begin to look forward, shift forward, slowly begin to point the back toes and raise the right leg. Good, keep pushing through the toes of both feet. Take one more breath in. Exhale, right toes land, hands land, downward facing dog. Stay for the breath in. Exhale, left hand reaches back to the back of the mat. Stay for the breath in. Exhale, right foot squeezes up towards your bum. As you inhale, come forward, right knee, right tricep, and then right leg shoots to the left. Exhale, sit. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands back, torso forward, press the heels down, tailbone long. Inhale, both arms lift to the sky. 
Exhale, hands to the top of the mat, pivot to the ball of the back foot, and then scoop that right leg to the sky, inhale. Exhale, come forward, step the right foot down, and drop down the left knee. Low lunge, inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, pull up arm bones together, press into the right foot. Exhale to hook, left knee, left elbow over left knee. Took the back toe under, raise the left knee, reach through the crown of the head, inhale. Exhale, begin to look forward, and as you do, point the left toes, drag that left foot forward, pick up the left foot, find your balance. Can you push out the right foot a little bit more, stay for the inhale. Exhale, left toes find the ground, hands find the ground, downward facing dog. When you get there, one breath in, and a big breath out. Inhale, lift the tiptoes. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, and come all the way to a malasana at the top of your mat. So take your feet out nice and wide. Sink your, hip, uh, your hips down, hands to heart center. Maybe find a little wiggle from side to side. Push out of the feet and reach through the crown of the head. If heels on the ground, it is not happening today, and you want to do this with either like a blanket rolled underneath your heels, even your mat, or you want to do this on tiptoes. It's totally fine. We're going to be here for another five, four, three, two, on one. See your bottom down. You can use your hands if you need to. And then extend your legs out nice and wide. We're gonna find some hinges from here, actively-ish. So if, with that in mind, you wanna take a slightly sh closer stance, then do. But know that you can always change your mind if you're halfway through and you decide you wanna move your legs either way. So I really want you to focus on pressing your legs down, heels down, calves down, thighs down, you're gluing everything towards the mat, but you're keeping length in the spine. Little toes are kind of wrapping back behind you rather than letting the legs sickle in. As you inhale, hands can be on the floor, across the chest, your hardest option would be to bring the arms up by the ears, but again, you can adjust as we go along. You're gonna hinge forward and come back up. We're gonna do 10 together, Remember, you can change your mind if you've chosen an option that you want to change. <laughs> Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward and come back up. That was 10. Nine, really wrap the outside edges of the legs down. Eight, press the legs down. Seven, six, five. Don't worry about how far you're going. Four, strong exhale to come back up. Three. Inhale down, exhale up, two, one more, inhale, this time stay, flex the feet, lift the tailbone back behind you, press the legs down, pull the chest forward, don't worry about how far down you're going, hold for another five, maybe you lower down for four, you're wrapping the legs back for three, for two, on your one, Come all the way back up. Bring your legs carefully together. Bend your knees and roll yourself all the way down to line. Take a full breath in. Take a full exhale. Press your lower back into the earth. Roll your shoulders back and down. Take an inhale. On your next exhale, press into the feet, pick up the hips, draw your heels to your shoulders, your shoulders to your heel, keep your chin away from your chest. So we're not here super long, we're not finding a big back bend. And just a little bit of strength in the legs, like you're zipping everything together. One more inhale, and then an exhale to come all the way down. Almost like we've gone full circle, draw your knees in towards your chest. Find a little rock from side to side. But this time, just take both of your knees to the left. Stacking right knee on top of left knee, even if that means that the twist's not gonna be as strong. Left hand almost glues those knees in place. Inhale, right arm reaches to the side of the mat. Exhale to melt in. Don't worry if your shoulder is nowhere near the ground. But just feel that opening across the front of the right shoulder Maybe even down the right arm. 
and take a few deep breaths. And then when you're ready, gently come all the way to center. Shift your weight to the right. This time, left knee is on top, right hand glues them into place, and the left arm extends out to the left. And feel the pull through the left shoulder this time. Let that left hand be heavy. Maybe soften into the left elbow a little bit. Okay, lifting into the chest for another five. Breathing nice and slow. Four, three, two, on your one, come all the way back to center. Just like we've gone full circle, bring your knees together, your feet are wide, one hand onto your belly, one hand onto your heart, and take three long breaths. If you have time for a full Shavasana, I encourage you to do so. If you do not, don't worry. at least take these three. 